You know, when I first started Jujutsu Kaisen, I never thought I would lose the front part of my brain, but here we are, and I'm just gonna have to adapt. My Kaizen has been jujutsu Jujutsu Kaisen, whether it's the manga or anime, uh, it, it's un unhinged in the best or worst way possible, depending on how you see it. Whether it's the Gojo back shots or just random character number 33 who's secretly the strongest or just the strange Fortnite emotes that the Jujutsu... You see, it's already affecting me. My, my brain cells have been depleted. With every meme I see from this demented fandom, I, I lose another brain cell or two. Here's the thing. Other fandoms, they tend to have memes that just constantly loop, you know? Eventually, it'll be the same jokes over and over again. Jujutsu Kaisen... It doesn't have meme loops, it has meme spirals. It, it, it starts off as a loop, it seems normal at first, but then it slowly and then speedily spirals down out of chaos to the point where you're watching videos at 3am about Sukuna impersonators. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I, I need freedom from this. Freedom from this. God dang, I wish Mahito would domain expand me. Guys, I, I, it's just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't know that was just the tip of the iceberg for normal fandoms that would be the low point for Jujutsu Kaisen it's nowhere near that you are my special some days I just sit there regurgitating the same Jujutsu Kaisen quotes in my head over and over again nah I'd win are you the strongest because you're Gojo Satoru? Or are you Gojo Satoru because you're the strongest? Then I have to look my co-workers dead in the eyes and explain to them what the heck a Maharaga is and how it can adapt to any situation. It's too late for a therapist at this point. I, it's not even like I could even afford one, but the idea of that even fixing it, nah. I didn't even mean to say nah. Oh my god. I kid you not. A week ago, I was watching like a Overwatch clip of some person playing Doomfist getting like five kills. And my first thought was not to say cool or wow, that was awesome. It was nah, I'd win. What does that even mean? My brain is infected that that's the first quote. I was at a funeral and my thoughts where, man, would it not be crazy if they played You Are My Special, the opening to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, opening 2? What is wrong with me? I, I, I straight up afterwards said, what is wrong with me? Thankfully, it wasn't someone I knew. It was just a funeral I was invited to, but that doesn't make it any better. Like... Oh boy, that does not make it any better. I haven't been in a fandom this insane since JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, as well as the Batman Arkham series. And that one's infamous as well for its crazy subreddit. But with uh, Jujutsu Kaisen subreddit, if uh, there's no content for a while, no chapters, no show, nothing, it starts to ferment like a bad yeast infection and it, it, it you'll see the most unhinged crazy things uh, no eyes should ever be cursed upon seeing case in point like um the gojo incident which i will not show i had the misfortune of accidentally seeing it thinking oh it'll be tame at best maybe I, I despise being a part of this fandom. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, JoJo's had its share of insanity as well, the same as Jujutsu Kaisen. So uh, they even have the same list of quotes that the fans just regurgitate and cycle through. Uh, and I remember that JoJo had its share of strange uh, memes as well. 
But yeah, I, I just can't get it out of my head. Like, I could still hear an AI cover of Peter singing the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. Uh, it, it's, it's just drilled, bored into my skull. <laughs> And I blame the, the, the author, that one-eyed cat. It's not just uh, the fact that they make these memes out of uh, no content, like content drought or something. It's usually to cope with uh, the heavy losses of good characters. This author seems to enjoy killing characters left and right sometimes. Like some I get, some I'm like, I, I don't really see why, how that could be. Uh, also, th this is like one of the few series where the villains have more plot armor than the heroes. This cat really loves their villains. Uh, I don't even know why they make manga. They should might as well. They might as well open up a donut store with all the glazing they do for the, for these villains. I won't spoil what comes later in the manga, but just saying, this villain should have died. A hundred chapters ago or something. I feel like it's uh, a bit much. But yes, all that aside, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is that I fear it might be growing because of the fact that not only that more people are noticing it throughout social media, but uh, a few days ago, uh, <laughs> there was an arrest. Uh, so the Japanese police have been starting to crack down more on manga leakers, people who leak the chapter a few days in advance, maybe a week in advance if we're lucky. Kind of weird that the Japanese police are going so hard for manga leakers, which I, again, they should. It is illegal, uh, but they don't go as hard towards, say, the other heinous crimes such as pedophilia and it, it reminds me of the Rurushin Kenshin author the guy who was caught with corpious amount of it and uh, he was just given a, like a slap on the wrist like a little prick basically he, he just paid a very small fine or something like that and suspended for half a year and then he was back to work I, I love the series but like come on man but I won't criticize, um, I don't know much about the Japanese law enforcement, uh, Japanese citizens will know more about that, so I'll let them do the criticism. This is just one thing I saw, so I'm not as knowledgeable for that. But, <laughs> going back to the manga leaks, um, they caught them! <laughs> they caught the guys who were leaking the Jujutsu Kaisen chapters uh, a few days in advance. And it's been a story. I feel like they could make a movie with how many twists and twists. I feel like I'm more invested in the leakers more than the actual story of Jujutsu Kaisen at this point, which is just bizarre to me. Following this news, you could see some tweets from some of the leakers. This one in particular caught my eye because it just sounds so brain rotted that they think they're in some sort of spy thriller novel. They think they're like Solid Snake. And then the fact that they say, I'll be narrating this to my grandkids in the future about this experience yep I, I'm sure they want to hear about that time that you leaked Jujutsu Kaisen chapters two days in advance then they'll promptly tell you to shut up and look out for cannibals while they try and find water in the wasteland because who knows where humanity will be at that point but here's the thing it gets even crazier if you believe it uh, the, the question was how did the cops find said leaker well there's no honor among these, apparently, because <laughs> it was one of their own that got them. Now, take this with a grain of salt, but honestly, I just want to just dump all the salt in and accept it because it just sounds so much funnier if this is true. But apparently, one of the translators that was working on the leak team, or whatever, uh, they're the ones who told the cops and told them everything about it location the, the groups and everything and before the cops could even like get to uh, go and arrest them they then went to the leaker the main one and asked for donation links so they could try and steal the money and hop off as quickly as possible the, the nerve of some people you really can't trust anyone in this business huh of course, the Japanese police came down on them like Thor's hammer, but uh, 
some of them might be all right because some of the leakers are apparently from India and I don't think Japanese jurisdiction can reach all the way there and I don't think India is gonna care about Mongai leakers to the point that would like dangle them back to Japan but hey it is what it is at this point it's still like hearsay about who this translator is some people are saying maybe it was a rival leaker and they just wanted to be the only leaker so they got rid of the other leakers but that just might be the jujitsu fandom uh having a meltdown like we usually do still it was uh pretty crazy news and i kind of want to see a movie like the social network made just like this for all this because it is pure chaos in the best way possible. Now, I like this fandom, but given this news, some of them might go a bit more insane because waiting two extra days for the next chapter can apparently make you go really crazy. But I'm, I'm sure we'll get through this as a fandom, not get too insane. But on the other fact, I would like uh, to stop seeing this everywhere I go. I saw the Duolingo Owl referencing the Jujutsu Kaisen little, little scene from there. And I, I just sat there in awe. I didn't laugh. I didn't cry. I just sat there contemplating my life. I thought, this is where we've gotten. Oh, boy. But in all seriousness, it's cool seeing uh, Jujutsu Kaisen being loved in places you've never seen before. Uh, it's the same for me when I got into JoJo's, so cool. It's cool. More people coming in, enjoying it in their own ways. Just let's not have more Gojo incidents. I, I think we should uh, tap out from whatever that was. I will not mention the contents of the video or the fluids <laughs> so yeah i love jujutsu kaisen but with the news that the chapters might be coming a bit later uh season three is gonna take a, a long while since season two ended pretty recently and then whatever the hell the video game was that was that was some garbage <laughs> but uh I, I think my frontal lobe will adapt. I'm done. No, nope, I'm done. I'm done. I didn't even mean to say that as a reference. It just came in my head. I am, I'm done. This Cyclops cat has given us the biggest curse in all existence. That's the irony. His series is the biggest curse upon humanity. I'm done. I am done. That's all there is. I'm going to sit down and think about life.